Hello, everyone, and welcome to Living Life. It is a joyous day for us to hear the Word of God, and I pray that as we share God's words today, that all of us may have an open heart and receive His words for us. Let us soften our hearts. Let us hear His words, and I pray that His words will reveal the truth to us today. Let us take a look at today's passage together. Mark 6, 14-29 King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said he is Elijah, and still others claimed he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John whom I beheaded has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to, because Herod feared John and protected him knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Finally, the opportune time came. On his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, Ask me for anything you want, and I'll give it to you. And he promised her with an oath, Whatever you ask, I will give you, up to half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once, the girl hurried in to the king with the request, I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. The man went, beheaded John in the prison, and brought back his head on a platter. He presented it to the girl, and she gave it to her mother. On hearing of this, John's disciples came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. In today's passage, we see how John the Baptist had come to die. That with the request from his daughter, Driven by Herodias, Herod follows through with this oath to listen to his daughter's request, beheading John the Baptist. But if we look at how all this started, we see that this began when John the Baptist spoke against Herod and Herodias' marriage. As it says in verses 17 through 19, For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to. If you think about this, was it wrong for John the Baptist to speak the truth? Of course not. As a man of God, it was clear that he came for a purpose, and that was to speak the truth of God. The truth that there is a need for repentance and the truth that the one who is greater than him is coming. So as John the Baptist continued to proclaim the truth, he shared with Herod what he was doing was unlawful and that there was a need to repent. Again, from this interaction, it's clear that this is for Herod's good. It's not to benefit John the Baptist because John the Baptist probably already knew there might be trouble in addressing to the king his wrongdoing, and yet John the Baptist continues to preach the need for repentance, for he came to preach the truth. But it says in the next verse that Herodias nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. Why? Because she is being called out in what she is doing wrong, and she doesn't want to face the truth. She hears the truth. She probably understood this to be true, but she couldn't accept this truth. She couldn't deal with it, and so she wanted to kill, kill John the Baptist. You see how when we can't face the truth, 
we try to struggle so hard to avoid it. We can try to hide the truth. We can try to run away from it. We can try to be shameless and deny the truth. But you also see that when you give up your chance to repent in hearing the truth, you may be falling deeper in your sin. That when you see an opportunity to commit the sin, you take it and you give yourself to the sin. But people of God, this cannot be our approach to the truth. When you hear the truth and you know it to be true, when you hear the words of God and the call to repent, accept His truth and bring yourself before Him. Do not remain in the darkness where you continue to devise ways to avoid this truth in an attempt to protect yourself because you're only leading yourself in deeper trouble. But bring yourself before God into the light and let His truth shine upon you and lead you out of darkness. Humble yourself before God. Allow His words to flow into your heart. When you open up your heart to His words, you will be able to see what you weren't able to see before and you will know the way you are to go. I pray that all of us will keep our hearts open to our God and that all of us may remain in Him. Hearing the truth, especially about our sins, may not be pleasant because sin is nothing close to being pleasant. But as difficult as it may be to face your sins, especially if someone else is pointing them out to you, I pray that we may be able to understand it's for our good to hear of this truth so that we may have the chance to uh, repent and prevent our sins from growing. I pray that we may submit to the truth of God, that we may be able to continue to live in the truth He shows us and leads us in, and that through us, we may be able to glorify our God through our lives. Let us pray together. Father God, we just thank you so much for reminding us of how important it is to live by the truth. Lord, we know that as we are sinful people, we may fall into our sins. But every time that we fall into our sin, Lord, help us not to deny it. Help us not to try to run away from it. But Lord, as we are reminded that this is still sin and that we need to repent for it, Lord, help us to lay it all before you, Lord, that we may come before you in repentance so that we may be able to live by the truth in face of it. Lord, help us to be bold, help us to be confident, help us to continue to trust in your promises, knowing that, Lord, you are a merciful God, that you are a graceful God. And Lord, just pray that we may be able to bring our full self before you, Lord. We pray that you continue to use us. And Lord, as the truth is in Jesus Christ, help us to be able to continue to proclaim the name of Jesus to the rest of the world. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.